The good news in this problem is that we have symmetry in our three circles, omega A, B, and C. So they're probably going to look like our stereotypical Venn diagram, overlapping like this. And if we start off by drawing our three overlapping circles, it's easier to see that the three intersecting points of our smaller equilateral triangle are these three. So we're trying to find the side length of this equilateral triangle XYZ. Let's draw triangle ABC. ABC is inscribed in this circle, and omega A is going to be tangent to our circle and sides AB and AC. So it's going to look something like this. Let me try that again. The center of our circumcircle is omega. It's about two-thirds of the way from vertex A down to side BC. The center of circle omega A, because of the symmetry, is going to be in line with A and omega. Let's draw a line through this point that's tangent to our two circles. And let's extend sides AB and AC to meet this line, forming a new equilateral triangle. Note that the height of this equilateral triangle is the diameter of circle omega, which has radius 18. So this distance is 36. Let's let omega be at the origin, and we can find the coordinates of the centers of our other three circles. Taking advantage of our symmetry, we note that omega is also the center of this equilateral triangle XYZ. Let's try to find a location of point Z with respect to omega. Then we'll be able to find the side lengths. Z is one of the two intersecting points of circle omega B and omega C. And again, by symmetry, it's aligned with the center of all these other points. Omega is also the center of the equilateral triangle formed by the centers of our three circles, omegas A, B, and C. So let's find the distance between omega and omega A, and then that should give us an idea of where omegas B and C are. Since the radius of our circumcircle is 18, the distance from omega to point A is 18. We also have the distance from omega to point D is 18. Since omega A is the center of this in-circle of triangle A, B prime, C prime, omega A is the center of this triangle. So the distance from A to omega A is twice the distance from omega A to the opposite side at point D. And since the distance from A to D is 36, we have the distance from omega A to D is 12. And this is the radius of our three interior circles. So this distance is 12, this is 12. So the distance from omega to omega A is six, which means the distance between omega and all of our other three centers is also six. This helps us find the coordinates of our three other centers. For example, omega A will have the same x coordinate and is six units below omega, which we put at the origin. To find the coordinates of omega B and C, we use the properties of an equilateral triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangles inside to note that the y coordinate is three above omega and the x coordinate is three root three to the left and to the right. Now that we know the centers of our three circles and we know that the radius of all three is 12, we can write equations for these three circles. In particular, I'm interested in circles omega b and omega c, that will enable me to find the intersecting point z. We'll write the equation for circle omega b and circle c. We'll save ourselves a little bit of time by noting that the x-coordinate of z is also zero, so we can find the solution for these two circles when x is equal to zero. Let's use circle b, and we'll solve for y, subtracting and taking the square root, we get two solutions for y. The y-coordinate of z is going to be the smaller of those solutions, the one that forms a vertex of our smaller equilateral triangle. So z has y-coordinate 3 minus the square root of 117. The distance between z and omega is just the difference in their y-coordinates. Now we find the side length of this triangle by drawing a perpendicular. So we're going to take this distance that we found, divide by 2, and multiply by the square root of 3. That gives us half of the side length. So the side length is going to be the distance multiplied by the square root of 3. The problem statement asks for us to keep everything underneath the square root signs and express it as the difference of these two square roots. Once we find a and b, we add them, and our answer is 378. If you'd like me to solve any other AMC or Amy problems, please leave them in the comments.